Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, much appreciated. And today I'm gonna to sort of continue the series I'm gonna do on beginner's tips for some of the most uh, favorite techniques out there. And today we're gonna to talk about shaky head fishing. And uh, you know, there's tons of information on shaky head fishing out there. There's so many different parts of shaky head. You got, you know, the baits that you use, you got the head size, you got the areas to fish it in. But it's one of the most deadly techniques for catching bass and it's something you really need to get good at. And what I wanted to do today is I want to give you guys some basic tips on how to work a shaky head, how to actually fish the bait, and uh, just keep it real basic one-on-one information. Um, first of all, uh, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about the shaky head setup and everything. The biggest, there's two elements on the shaky head that you really have to consider. The size of the baits you're using and the weight of the head. And we'll do some videos later on in that as far as the equipment and the setup. But what I want to do today is I want to give you a quick tip on how I actually manipulate and work the bait. So the first thing you want to remember is um, shaky head fishing, it's a finesse technique. So the, the way that I like to fish it is I'll throw it out there. And again, I like to make a long cast. And I'm a big advocate, guys, of making a long cast because you're going to catch a lot bigger fish if you get that bait away from the boat as far as you can. So make the longest cast you can watching my line all the way down, and I'm not gonna do anything except watch my line until the lure hits the bottom. Now, once the lure hits the bottom, this is how I work the bait. I mean, watch my rod tip here, because this is gonna be the key thing, is you want to just, it's sort of like the technique, it's shaking. I'm just barely shaking that rod tip. You know, you can see it's only shaking like two or three inches, I'm moving it, but at the same time, I'm shaking it and I'm pulling it up a little bit as I as I work it and then I'll take the slack up a little bit make sure the line hits the bottom and then I start shaking it a little bit more working the rod tip up to about 11 o'clock and I'm slowly reeling it as I'm shaking it and as I'm pulling it in I'm slowly reeling it into the back to the boat so once in a while say if I get back halfway back to the boat sometimes I'll just let it sit there and not move but most of the time it's just a real short shake like that lifting the rod tip and pulling it up and one of the things you want to do with the shaky head guys is let the rod do a lot of the work because that pulling technique just a subtle pulling and just a subtle twitching on the top it just gets that worm down there just vibrating i think one of the biggest mistakes that anglers make with the shaky head is they try to actually work the bait they try to actually hop it up off the bottom and you don't want to do that you want to keep that shaky head in close contact with the bottom all the time. So you either wanna just barely shake that rod tip or just barely drag it across the bottom. The biggest thing that I can give you guys as far as just a basic beginner's one-on-one tip on shaky head fishing is work it slow. The slower that you work a shaky head, I don't care if you're in deep water, shallow, clear or dirtier, you're, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. So anyway, just a quick tip today on shaky heads. We'll be back later with a lot more aspects of the shaky head as far as beginner techniques. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you all for the next one.